Hello everyone and welcome to Dolls in the Cradle. My name is Anne and this precious, precious baby girl is Mary Elizabeth. And Mary Elizabeth is the sold out limited edition Lilu sculpt by Cassie Brace. And she was beautifully painted and brought to life by Andrea Randall. And, oh, I love her so very much. And it's always a pleasure when I bring her on. Now, I'm sure that all these mixed colors on the blanket and on her are probably blinding you. So I hope you had your sunglasses on. <laughs> But that's okay, because we are taking the very cute, very colorful outfit off of her, and we are going to be doing the complete opposite when we dress baby girl. We will be putting her in all white, and it's going to be like a comfy white outfit, something that any living baby would just feel so comfortable in. So let me just say thank you so much for coming in, for spending a little bit of your day with me at Dolls in the Cradle. I also want to say to every single person that watched my last video and you got it, you understood what I was saying and you commented, thank you so much because I really wasn't sure. I really wasn't sure. And yet I did feel that there had to be others like me out there in this community, the online community of Reborns slash dolls. And I, I can't express enough my gratitude for you coming in and commenting so many of you commented and even some of the things that you touched on in your comments I didn't actually bring up in my video but when I was reading your comments I was like they get it they so get what I'm trying to say so thank you so much for for getting where I come from, right? Many of you are coming from the same place and some of you are not because we're all different. But the fact that so many of you are like me, a person that I didn't come on to YouTube, I didn't make this channel so that I could actually build a tribe. And once again, there's nothing wrong with building a tribe. Some people thrive with that. And that's wonderful for them. But it's also wonderful for people like me to know there's so many of you like me. I have, you know, friends offline. I have friends that have been in my life for a long time, family and friends that are my tribe already. So I didn't actually come here to build a tribe. I came here for the love of these dolls to be able to share with you my dolls that I'm so proud of and that I love so much. And, and also to be able to speak with you and laugh with you 
and just share some parts of my life with you. And I'm so happy for those of you that watch my video that allow me into your space, that allow me into your homes and into your, into your ears and that you enjoy the videos. Um, that means a lot to me because without my subscribers, without my Dolly friend subscribers here on YouTube, uh, it wouldn't be any fun, would it, this channel? It wouldn't be any fun. So I'm showing you this comfy outfit that I'm getting ready to put on Mary Elizabeth. The brand is Honest Brand. It's 100% cotton. I love the pants. Love these types of pants. They're not like leggings on babies. There's their relaxed fit up in the hiney section and around that helps uh, with the bulk of their diapers. And, you know, if, if this was a real living baby, uh, I think that baby would be so comfortable in those types of relaxed pants. And then we have the long sleeved onesie, which <laughs> You guys know darn well <laughs> that for the life of me, I struggle. I mean, I struggle with these things. It is the most insane thing. You think after a few times that I've done it, that it would come natural to me. But for some reason, my brain malfunctions Every time I go to button things on the side and the crazy thing is that I love, I love to put those things on, on the youngins. So I definitely am going to have to just continue to do it, ride that struggle bus, right? And you guys can watch me just like you're going to see it right here in this video. I, 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 I start to struggle, you guys, I start to struggle, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> we all struggle with something. This just happens to be mine and I'm sharing it with the world. <laughs> what can I say? Oh my goodness. So let me tell you, today... I was opening a new, a new um, countertop cooking thing. It's, um, you know, it's a slow cooker. It's a roaster. I could stir fry in that thing if I wanted to. I could use it for a rice cooker, whatever. It's one of those things. Like, I don't have two of them already in different sizes, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, my mom wanted this one. She wanted this one. So we have it and got it yesterday. So today I'm in the kitchen and I'm like, okay, I need to open this thing, wash it and, you know, put some stuff in it to cook dinner tonight. And, you know, I opened the top of the box and there was styrofoam and, and stuff in there. So let me tell you something about me and styrofoam. Um, I can't stand the sound of styrofoam. Literally, that is the most grating thing. Oh my gosh, it will drive me ballistic. Honestly, all someone had to do if they were to, you know, need to get information from me and torture me is just bring in the styrofoam. And the minute they do it, honey, I, I, I tell you anything you wanted to know. Uh, <laughs> can't stand it. So, of course, there was styrofoam in it. So I took the top piece off, right, and, and just gritted my teeth, grinded my teeth. And then the glass lid was encompassed in some styrofoam. So when I was picking it up and uh, pulling it out, it made the worst, worst sound that I literally 
you guys, I dropped it. I dropped it and the thing fell to the side of the box and it shattered into like a million pieces, the, the glass lid into a million pieces. And <laughs> I was ranting and raving in the kitchen. The cats were in there looking and I'm just like, get out, get out, get out, get out. Cause I didn't want anyone to cut their paws. So I had to get, um, the broom and the dustpan and y'all let me tell you something I cannot believe how far and wide this glass shattered from one end of the kitchen uh, to the next so I spent forever sweeping up pieces and then I went and got the vacuum cleaner and vacuumed everything up because I wanted to make sure that there was nothing left on the floor. So here's this brand new thing. It has no glass lid. I'm like, oh. So I got a hold of Ninja, which is the company, and did a live chat with one of their representatives, and I ordered a new lid for it. So yeah which I had to pay for, but hey, um, at least I'm getting a new lid and I'll be able to uh, use that uh, another day. <laughs> so, so that happened, but you guys, when things like that happen in my day, I, I, I might fret about it in the moment, but I never like uh, let it just like ruin my whole day, right? Like, you know, it was an accident. It happened the whole, not a whole lot I could do. I fixed the problem and we move on from that. So, um, yeah, so that's what I did. Um, I have been loom knitting a blanket. I know that I've told you that. And I do believe in the next two to three days, I will be able to show you the knitted blanket. I'm so excited to almost be done with it. Look at this baby girl. Look at her y'all. She looks so clean and cute in solid white. And those pants look just so comfortable on her. But hang on, I got one more thing that I need to add. So here is her little white bow. So I actually purchased a whole box of these off of Amazon. They are all the same size. They're just different colors. And that is like the biggest bow I normally go for um, that and smaller but every once in a while I'll go with a bigger bow um, you know just to show the, uh, the the big bow mamas out there that that um, that 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 I can do it too man I can do it too <laughs> oh, oh my stars oh my stars Okay, so look at her. How many of you want to just snuggle with this little snuggle bunny here? Oh my gosh, she's so amazing. So I have a confession. I have a little confession to make. I have something to tell you. And what I'm telling you is that I did a thing. Did y'all hear that? Okay, I'm going to try to whisper it a little bit louder. I, it's not whispering, hang on. I did a thing. <laughs> I did, I did a thing. Even though I'm downsizing, I did a thing. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. So we could, we can say, oops, I did it again. That's right. I got a new doll. <laughs> and it is here. Oh my gosh. So uh, I will be sharing that baby on my next video. And there is a, a connection between that reborn baby and sweet Mary Elizabeth right here. And it's that they share the same artist that painted and brought them to life and uh, I also got the 
little one at a very good deal. So I am excited to bring that little one in and and share it with you and uh, give you something to think about for the next video. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my gosh. So the weather here has been getting cooler. Oh my stars, I'm so excited for the Southeast Georgia. Come on, it is exciting news. We actually had two days where the night temperatures were like 48 or 49. They did climb into the 60s one day to about 72 during the day. But I don't give a care. I don't give a care because we had a little nippy weather and I am all in that I am all for it. That is my jam and I am loving it. So I also ordered two things off of Amazon and uh, they are both birthday presents, one birthday present to myself and one birthday present from my very special, loving, amazing um, guy friend um, that is just he's he he's more than a friend and he always has been ever since my son was two if you know you know that's all I'll say with that um but he gave me a Amazon gift card and so with that Amazon gift card what I purchased for my birthday was a outdoor house for my feral cats and I'm so happy to be able to do that. I'm so excited. It's been something I've been wanting to get one or two nice little houses that are off the ground that are insulated and oh my gosh, I can't wait. So I'm so happy to be getting that for my birthday, even though it's not for me, it is for me because I like to make sure that the animals around me, um, even the feral colony that I care for out in the yard, that they are taken care of as much as I can, just like I do my indoor house cats. That's why they're all fixed. That's why they have a three-year rabies shot. That's why they've had all of their shots. They've been dewormed. They've had all of those things. And hopefully in about three years, I'll be able to capture them and take them in to get some, uh, another rabies shot and also their regular shots and, and all of that. But yeah, and the second thing I purchased, and this was for myself, was a stroller with a car seat. It is, an, it's not name brand, it's off brand. I only had to pay $100 for it. And, or actually it was $99, but it was $100 after tax. And so I'm super excited to get that because I've been saying as the weather cools down, what I want to do is at dusk, take my stroller out and do a little walking in the neighborhood, uh, just strolling around. And it, it's always nice to have something to push. And the people in my neighborhood, it's a very quiet neighborhood and there's not going to be anyone coming up to me going, who's the baby? And if my close neighbors uh, do that, you know, I'm just going to say it's a cat um, because they don't like cats and they won't get near it. <laughs> but I'm super excited to be able to like take Mary Elizabeth out. All right, you guys. So now we're going to go and we're going to find out who is the winner of the giveaway baby. If you didn't know about it, um, it was in another video. I'm not announcing giveaways anymore in videos. Okay, so here we go. This is the YouTube random comment picker. And I've just entered the link to the video that the giveaway is in. And you'll see that I'm checking off some some things and then in to win you would have to put I want this doll as a boy or I want this doll as a girl 
So with whatever you wrote, if you were entering the giveaway, you needed to write one or the other. So I'm going to be putting these sentences into the random picker. And this saves me so much time because I don't have to go through the comments. The random picker does. And I can show it to you just like this. And we can see who the winner is. Um, yeah, I mean, I know who the winner is. <laughs> but uh, this will show everyone who the winner is, including the winner, which is very, very exciting. So without further ado, the winner, please make sure that you email me and the email is listed in the description of every single one of my videos. Okay. So without further ado, I'm clicking here. I think there's 17 comments to go through and here we go. We're going to start the drawing right now. Good luck, everyone. And the winner is Deb on the East Side. Congratulations, you have won. Contact me. Take care, everyone. God bless.